Buenos dias. Waking up this beautiful morning here at the Pachamama Farms and Sanctuary in Eustis, Florida. Catching up with my reading of The Greatest Salesman in the World, Part 2. And uh, we're reviewing today the third vow of success. It says, I am awake. I am filled with joyful anticipation. I feel unfamiliar rumblings in my heart as I welcome each new day now with joy and confidence instead of self-pity and fear. He who suffers remembers. I will never repeat the failures and futile mistakes of the past now that I have these scrolls to guide me. Each day I will venture out into the world accompanied by three powerful new allies, confidence, pride, and enthusiasm. I am confident I can deal with any challenge. Pride demands that I perform to the best of my ability and all that this, all of this will be accomplished because I have rediscovered a special power that has been missing from my life since childhood, the power of enthusiasm. Every memorable act in history of the world is a triumph of enthusiasm. Nothing great was ever achieved without it because it gives any challenge or any occupation, no matter how frightening or difficult, a new meaning. Without enthusiasm, I am doomed to a life of mediocrity, but with it, I can accomplish miracles. There is a new meaning to my existence. Failure is no longer my constant companion. The nothingness, isolation, powerlessness, sadness, vexation, and despair of the past have vanished since, they, since that day. Not so long ago when I remember how to smile. Already, others are reflecting my smiles and my caring. I share the candle of love and happiness gladly. Always would I bathe my days in the golden glow of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm is the greatest asset in the world. Asset in the world. Its potential value far surpasses money and power and influence. Single-handed, the enthusiast. The enthusiast convinces and dominates where the wealth accumulated by a small army of workers will scarcely raise a tremor of interest. Hmm. Enthusiasm tramples over prejudice and opposition, spurns inaction, storms the citadel of, the, of its object, and, like an avalanche, overwhelms and engulfs all obstacles. Wow! <laughs> I have learned a great lesson. Enthusiasm is my faith in action. With faith, I cannot fail. Always will I bathe my days in the golden glow of enthusiasm. Some of us are enthusiastic at times, and a few even re retain their eagerness for a day or a week. All that is good, but I must and I will from form the habit of sustaining my enthusiasm indefinitely, honestly, and sincerely, so that the success I enjoy today can be repeated tomorrow, tomorrow, the next week, the next month. Enthusiasm, the love for whatever it is I am doing at the moment, works in marvelous ways. I need not to even attempt to understand it, but I do know that I will give additional vitality. It will give additional vitality to my muscles and my mind. Enthusiasm in all I do will become, with hard work, a habit. We first must take our habits and then, good or bad, they make us. Enthusiasm will be my chariot to a better life. Already I am smiling in anticipation on the good to come. Always will I bathe my days in the golden glow of enthusiasm. Enthusiasm can move castles and charm brutes. It is the genius of sincerity and, tru and truth is rarely victorious without it. Like so many others, I have conducted my life with false ideas of true rewards, believing that comfort and luxury should be my goals when all that when all that any of us need to make us really happy is something to be enthusiastic about. Enthusiasm will benefit my future more than spring rain nourishes the wheat. Henceforth, all my days will be different than those of the past. Never again would I consider that whatever I must do to support my existence is labor, for then I will feel the strain of necessity in my work and the hours of each day will endure for what it seems an eternity. Let me instead forget that I must work 
to eat and approach the day toil with all my energy and carrying a good spirit. With these qualities, I will perform far better than ever before. The hours will pass swiftly, and the enthusiastic output continues day after day. I am certain to become more valuable to myself and to the world. There is no person, no occupation, no trouble that cannot be affected for the good of my, by my attitude. Always will I bathe my days in the golden glow enthusiasm. In that bright glow, will I be able to see for the first time all the good things of life that were concealed from me during those years of utility. Just as a young, a young lover has a finer sense and more acute vision and sees in the object of his affection a hundred virtues and charms invisible to other eyes, so will I, imbued with enthusiasm, have my power of perception heightened and my vision magnified until I can see the beauty and charms other cannot discern which can compensate for lar large loads of drudgery, privation, hardship, and even persecution. With enthusiasm, I can make the best of any situation. And should I stumble now and then, as even the most talented will do on occasions, I will pick up myself and go on with my life. Always would I bathe my days in the golden glow of enthusiasm. What a great exhilaration I feel, knowing that I possess this great power to alter my days and my entire life with my attitude. How sorry I feel for those legions who have no knowledge that they can use this great force, a force already within them, to guide them in the future. I will turn back the calendar and adopt the irresistible charge of youth with this its, its enthusiasm bubbling like a spring of mountain water. Youth sees no darkness ahead, no trap that has no escape. He forgets that there is such a thing as failure in the world and believes that man mankind has been waiting all these centuries for him or her to come and be the liberator of truth and energy and beauty. Today I raise my candle on high and smile at everyone. Always will I bathe my days in the golden glow of enthusiasm. Wow, this is really powerful to read over and over. <sighs> Certainly make my morning, and I hope it makes yours too. Thank you for watching. I love you.